congestion grinds traffic to a halt in Frankfurt, Germany. We must move away from individual transport to public transport. We must move away from this bigger, faster, further, and more to the public good. As many as 15,000 activists came here to protest. Electric cars only make sense if the power comes from renewable energy. We need a fast coal phase-out, in addition to electric cars and a change in transportation habits. Drawing crowds of protesters to Frankfurt is the 2019 International Motor Show, where car makers boast of new driver and traffic-friendly vehicles, some looking to change the way we send and receive packages. We are also talking to them, the big e-commerce companies, because they also look for, for new solutions. They look for a more efficient one, for a cheaper one, and also for a more sustainable one. This pedal-driven delivery truck boasts zero emissions outside of the driver exhaling. And in Berlin, the average speed of cars is 16 kilometers per hour. Because you're stuck in traffic, you need to look for a parking spot. So we are actually faster than a car in a city because we can skip the traffic jam and we are much easier to find a parking spot. Makers of this driverless van say it may help ease traffic congestion and boost productivity. So whenever I don't have to bother about the traffic, I don't have to bother about like, you know, what, is, what is happening around me, I can take my time. For example, if I'm going to a meeting, prepare for my meeting over here, I would have just some teleconference over here, or I can just go ahead, lean back and enjoy and relax. Using augmented reality, like the famous Pokemon Go game from a few years ago, a company called Vsight helps drivers get back on the road after car troubles slow them down. Companies are losing too much time and effort uh, when they have a problem uh, on the field, and uh, every minute counts for them. Actually, some of them are losing 20,000 euros per minute. So we help them to recover very fast from those uh, malfunctions and problems on their field. The thousands protesting outside say none of this sounds like it will do much to curb climate change. I think this is just a shift of the problem, but not a real approach to tackling the future of transport. And to have less cars on the road to organize traffic more sustainably with trains, on foot, with bicycles and public transport. The International Motor Show runs until September 22nd. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News, Washington.